Hello everyone, this is a video for those who wants to participate in NASA Space App Challenge 2022 and wants to get a little guide here, uh, especially to my citizen scientists and uh, my fellow uh, friends of college. Basically, NASA Space App Challenge 2022 is live. It will be happening from 1st and 2nd of October. Uh, quick info about the Space App Challenge. So anybody can participate in this uh, hackathon you don't have to especially be a coder or you know someone experienced with projects or hacks from if you, if you even if you are a painter even if you're a coder you can be in the team NASA space Apps challenge 2022 does have lots of challenges for you guys and especially for Kolkata the local lead center is in Burdwan so those who wants to participate from Kolkata, uh, they might be needing to go to the Burdwan College uh, to, you know, later on continue the hackathon. So basically, uh, this hackathon will be starting from October 1st, 9 a.m. Uh, Indian Standard Time and will be ending on the second day, 11.59 p.m. So this is a 48 hours hackathon. Basically, this you will be given a challenge. You have to form a team. The team have to pick the challenge together, and <clears throat> from there on, you have to solve the problem within forty-eight hours and submit it uh, in a platform where they can review it. So, let's for example, GitHub is a place where last time we participated in NASA Space App Challenge twenty twenty-one. Just know, I'm not an affiliation with I'm not in affiliation with NASA or NASA Space App Challenge. But I've been a former participant here. This was my team, as you can see. Um, this was my team members, and we we are the team both here. So as you can see, I am not. I was not in the coding part. So basically, I was a project HR, managing the documentation, leading the project, managing it and stuff, and giving you know brainstorming ideas. While the rest of my wonderful fellow, you know cool coders they did the job for me so basically this was me and my team members as you can see we uh, did a lot of work uh, unfortunately we didn't got we got no selection uh, somebody else got no worries so basically all you have to do is uh, first of all you have to register for it so since I'm logged in uh, what you have to do is uh, search up NASA space app challenge uh, 2022 and sorry i had 23 there we go um okay from there you can click on register now and uh you have to you have to first register a location and then you have to select some challenges so the team challenges i think uh, they've not updated it uh, yet uh, okay they did all right so these are the basically the challenges you have uh, awesome challenges trust me uh, it's not as it used to be before like the last one it's much innovative newer especially this one it got my attention take flight making the most of NASA's airborne data so basically NASA space have challenge this will give you even you can clear great games or stuff you love like it's uh, something like you know hardware intermediate stuff so basically uh, they will be giving you some data as all right based on the challenge you pick and you have to incorporate those data in your project so they can you know uh give you some awards or something like that so basically all you have to do a form a team of six members probably this time uh starting september 21 you can create or join a team through space apps website so it's august now from 21th of september you guys will be able to create your own team so if any teams are looking interest and looking for members uh, you can search you'll be able to have a team here or i'll, I'll, I'll just show you somehow uh, just know the space app guides will be available from september 14th so if you have any more queries or you know anything like that regarding participant participations or something like that uh, there will be a bunch of pdfs which will be these guides this is a video which is an official not not an official video it doesn't have any official guide in it but just from my experience from my experience i'm telling it to you guys so you guys can you know be prepared for it uh, uh so participant guides will go live in mid mids of september you guys can also see boot camps here i highly highly uh, what to say uh, recommend you guys to check the website here 
that they've created. So let's say, okay, affiliation in China, of course, no. All right, let's pick my region. So I'll be in Kolkata. You, okay, so this is a fun thing. Uh, this is a universal event from anywhere in the world. So suppose you're from some part or like, suppose me, I don't want to go to both one because it's very far from my home, even if it's in my state. So instead of, it's not in Kolkata anymore, but it's in both one, right? So I don't want to go to both one. So what I'll do is I can click on universal event from anywhere in the world and then confirm registrations. Two perks of thing, things are like that. In universal events, there will be many, many, you know, submissions. But let's say Burdwan is in a faraway place from Kolkata. And the number of uh, projects that uh, teams that will participate will be less. So your competition is much less here. And the chances of you getting a global nomination is very high. And once you get a global nomination, the, the, then there will be judges, you know, panels. And they'll be nominating the winner of the Space App Challenge. Just know, even if you don't succeed in this challenge, even if you just participate and submit the project by 2nd of October, you will be receiving a certificate uh, that I received, I'll show you in a minute uh, later. So, okay, so my, my I can even change my region. It's not a big thing. Uh, you can literally change it. Uh, team is not up yet. Uh, challenges are here. So let's suppose I want to take this challenge. All right, so let's click. Okay, you cannot click on it anyhow. So uh, Your interest your field of interest you can go here. All right, uh, you can filter the list you can go to the advanced You know, you can even go to beginner or you this time they create something like that and It doesn't always needs to be a space apps uh, website because uh, last year uh, one of the colleges from our state they participated from West Bengal they got a global nomination but there was no website they just uh, did a p presentation I don't know if it's the uh, leads problem that they nominated them or it's the you know team just how they got in so what we did is uh, we were basically a six member team you know, maximum people you can have is six uh, our project is live even you can check it out we created a demo of it uh, we even made videos of it and whatnot. So um, team board, there, this is the place where you can give live updates. So suppose you're the team lead and you're logged in, you can literally give live updates and sh uh, tell people that what you are doing and whatnot. So here's the info we did. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically space apps, guys. That's that's it. And it's very easy. It's not like that you have to be a, you know, coder or someone expert in it. Of course, you'll be having subject matter experts while the challenges will go live, offline or online in the websites. Uh, they will be helping you out if even if you have any coding problem, facing some problem regarding theory or concepts. Uh, you guys can go it easily. And results and metrics, uh, metrics uh, is some infographs from previous years. Not a big thing. So yeah, that's that's it. That's for the Space App Challenge. I highly encourage you guys to participate in it. It's a great you know experience at all. And yeah, feel free to uh, comment below or reach to my email uh, if you have any more questions regarding my experience or something. Thank you guys.